Hey folks, I'm HP and there's a new device in the HP Crazy Studios, the Moore G200. And um, I was looking to for something to replace my old mini pods, meaning to have something very small, very uh, handy, uh, with a cool sound which I can take in the airplane, stuff like this, just for traveling or for mobile recording and stuff. Like for pro pro projects we're coming soon where I need to have more mobility. And uh, there was looking for something, and I finally just came out this year, I think, or um, the beginning of this year or the end of the last year. It's basically sold out everywhere. <laughs> it's hard; it was hard to get it, like two months waiting. And this, the price is just uh, amazing—300 bucks for a uh, amp modeling device, and it's really cool, sexy view. Nothing, nothing to say. Everything is there with the uh, editing software. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I don't go. I wanna don't want to explain how it works. I mean, you find it yourself. I just want to show you the sounds and um, the factory presets. They are not really cool. Uh, I didn't like any of them, so I took a few hours to pro program it. I'm going through all sounds, and this I'm going to show you what I found. First is a clean sound. Um, yeah, it's kind of a. Deluxe, Fender Deluxe thing, very nice. Yeah. Nothing to say. Um, probably the next sound, same. Um, in this case, with a delay, which you can use on anything like this. Really cool. Now you hear how much delay I have on the sound. <laughs> yeah. And you uh, control the delay over the tap function. There you there you can tap in the tempo. Uh, you need to program it that it works, but it's easy to do it. There's no problem. Okay, let's go next. Now we come to distortion sounds. They are a little bit critical, but they work too. In this case, the Mesa Boogie Mark III <coughs> with some delay on it. One of the main problems with uh, which uh, some uh, high gain distortions have is when they spe when they're cheap or the price is not so high and the higher positions they sound cold or like too artificial. But this one that's cool. Nothing to say. Here are British amp and I have programmed a, a whammy bar here. <laughs> so. Yeah, cool. Switch it off, and this is uh, the Marshall end. One of the main problems with uh, which some uh, devices have that they the sound is a bit blurry and when it plays fast, um, you don't hear the attack of the pick anymore. Here's no problem. Okay, I didn't do my warm up, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, it really works. It's cool, no problem. Let's go to the next one. Oh, okay. Um, when it comes to crunchy sounds, it might sometimes be a problem. When you go on the neck pickup, it has to be a little bit creamy. And 
no problem. Very cool. Next sound. Oh, this is a uh, brown sound, kind of a with a whammy bar. Works too. Let's see how it sounds. nothing to complain nice brown creamy yeah I mean when you comp if you would compare just directly with a uh, very expensive device such fractal audio or camper you probably would hear a difference as this sounds a little bit more artificial but still they're cool enough to use in a live situation <coughs> these are now my touch technique presets with a little bit of uh, octaver on them Okay, I don't have enough reverb on them. I need to fix this. It's first test in the studio now. Is one with reverse delay. Here the reverse delay. There's one trick, I have a slight pitch shifter on it with like 5% octave uh, gives a more fat sound on touch technique. Yeah, let's go to the next sound. Oh, look at this, uh, I don't pick my acoustic. Uh, Jazzy sound with a uh, uh, Roland uh, Jazz Chorus amp. This one is a little bit louder, and um, let me switch off the delay. I programmed the expression pedal that you can switch the delay on and off, which is cool. Here's off and on. No. But for jazz, probably, I like doing jazz with delay, but some people say that's not cool, so you can switch it on and off. And oh, wait, where's it? Why is it switching off now? Now? Oh, now it's off. Okay. And uh, s also here, uh, the problem is that you do sometimes don't hear the attack of the pick, and you have a blurry sound here. You don't have it. <laughs> If you have one having more bass that you can regulate it on the guitar. <laughs> See, it's very cool. Is there something next? Okay, some acoustic stuff, but yeah, they're not finished. So I came up for and my resume is absolutely great for the um, for the money you pay and looks cool sexy uh, the uh, software to edit it is I mean it's looks cheap but it works <laughs> yeah I mean what do you want for 300 bucks I mean you cannot have everything it's but it's it's really cool and I guess that's the reason why it's sold out it has been sold out probably not now not anymore I don't know but it's really cool and um, I will keep it. I thought I, I will sell it again if I don't like it. But I think I will keep it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that was it. My little uh, review on the Moore G200. And I hope you enjoyed it and have got some insight. <laughs>